Okay. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Jen Ching, and uh, here I'm happy to present our work here. Um, Blind Hub Bitcoin compatible uh, uh, privacy preserving payment on hub supporting variable amounts. This is a joint work with Streaming Fan, Arash, Miyazie, Jim Aizui, Ogo Zan Ozoi, Amri Saite, Muhammad Eskin, Joseph Liu, Zhang Shanyi, and Ji Hong Yi. And uh, Bitcoin is a pioneering cryptography, cryptocurrency with the largest uh, market capitalization. However, it, its big scalability could not satisfy the increasing need of the developing Bitcoin ecosystem. Um, there are several, solution, several solutions to scale Bitcoin. Here, we focus on payment channel. Payment channel uh, is regarded as one of the most promising solutions for addressing the scalability problem. And it allows for unlimited off-chain payment with only the channels opening and closing recorded on the blockchain. However, it is um, in financially invisible to build channels with everyone. So, and so Payment Channel Network provides a powerful solution to this problem. It allows users to pay uh, with no channels between them to pay to each other while the channels solve some intermediary. However, it requires uh, it requires routing and active participation of the intermediaries. Payment Channel Hub um, as a, an as an alternative deploys a uh, deploys a start topology, and it allows users to pay to each other while only a single intermediary. In this work, we focus on secure and privacy preserving payment channel hub, and. It, it's to satisfy the following security properties. The first is atomicity, which says that either Alice receive M coins from Hub and Hub receive M coins from Bob, or both parties receive none. And secondly, is the relationship uh, anonymity, which says that the Hub should not um, know who is paying to whom. And in this existing Bitcoin compatible privacy preserving payment on a Hub construction, um, they require the uh, payment amount to be fixed. Fixing the, fixing the amount requires required to run the payment system for multiple times or running multiple payment system simultaneously. And uh, finally, it is the interoperability, which says that um, the payment secure payment, uh, payment channel hub uh, should, uh, should support as many cryptocurrencies as possible. Um, there are several works that are most relevant to ours. Uh, for example, A2L and Tumblebit, which can achieve Bitcoin compatibility, relationship anonymity, and atomicity. However, these works require the payment amount to be fixed, which is not desirable in terms of security and, and privacy. And on the other hand, bot provide flexible payment and it is also atomic and relationship and anonymous. However, it is not Bitcoin compatible. In this work, we propose a solution which can achieve all the above properties. So now let me introduce our solution. Um, we call that um, ATOL and Tumblebit requires the payment amount to be fixed. And it makes sense since otherwise the, the hub is, uh, is easily uh, uh, for the hub to um, link out the sender and the receiver through the amount. So our idea is to hide the amount. So we propose a new channel scheme, which we call blind channel. To explain the idea of blind channel, let's first recall how the normal payment channel works. Suppose now Alice and Bob share the channel and Alice is going to pay Bob M coins. After the payment, their balance are updated and both of them are aware of the updated balance. However, there are some changes in the blind channel setting. In blind channel, um, only one user can be aware of the balance while the other cannot. Again, suppose now Alice is going to pay Bob M coins instead of, instead of uh, uh, in informing Bob of M coins, Alice Instead, we just send the commitment of the amount as well as the proof, which proves that the amount used in the channel 
um, equals to the one in the commitment. For the ease of presentation, we call it we call this proof amount consistency proof. After the proof, um, Bob will blind send a transaction to pay Alice. So um, and after the payment, Alice can still um, be aware of the updated balance, while Bob can can only see the update of the, the commitment of the balance. To further explain the idea of um, blind channel, let's let's see uh, let's consider a simple uh, payment channel hub construction in the blind channel setting. Um, so now here, Alice is going to pay Bob via the Tumblr. In the first step, Bob sent the commitment and as well as the proof, uh, as well as the amount consistency proof to the Tumblr. Next, the Tumblr blind sent a transaction to pay Bob. And, and uh, after this, Bob shared, shared the commitment of the amount with Alice who used it to perform a similar payment to pay the Tumblr. So, and uh, so this is a, a simple example of the uh, how how the payment uh, is pro uh, is processed in the blind channel setting. Um, uh, of course, this is another under the assumption that all the users are honest. So suppose now Alice is honest, is malicious, and and then Alice can just refuse to pay the tumbler, and as a result, we lost the atomicity. To save the atomicity. We need some other new uh, privileges. Um, we first recall what is uh, what we call first recall a primitive called adapter signature. Adapter signature is um, is built up uh, is based on a, di a digital signature and a hard relation. It works as follows. So suppose now Alice is uh, is going to ask for adapter signature from the signer. In the first step, Alice and uh, generate a pair of statement and witness from a hard relation. Next, Alice send the statement and as well as the message to the signer. Then the signer use this statement to generate a presignature on the message. Here, here this presignature is essentially an incomplete signature. Then, uh, then the signer just send the presignature back to Alice who. Firstly, verify the validity of this press signature. If if so, Alice adapt it to a full signature and have it published. And at this moment, the signer can learn the full signature and extract the witness from from it and the press signature. Um, based on based on this primitive, we propose a new a primitive, uh, uh, new a primitive called blind. Blind adapter signature. Um, blind adapter signature is roughly the same as adapter signature, except that, um, um, except that in the first step, Alice will uh, will send the commitment of the message instead of the blind one, and the signer will sign on the com uh, commitment of the message. Um, with this new primitive, um, let's see how to achieve the atomicity in this construction. So after Bob's commitment and uh, and amount consistency proof, the Tumblr will firstly generate a pair of statement and witness and then use this and statement uh, to generate uh, a depth blind adapter signature on the commitment of the message. In this way, Tom uh, um, and next Tumblr will um, uh, will send the commitment of the witness to the, to Bob. In this way, uh, the Tumblr uh, performs a conditional payment to pay Bob. Next, Bob will share the commitment of the witness and the commitment of the of the message um, with Alice, who will use them to perform a similar conditional payment to pay the Tumblr. Finally, the Tumblr will use the witness to release the coins in the conditional payment. So, so this is how we achieve the atomicity. Now let's consider the privacy. As, as we look closer, we can see that there's no privacy here, or there's, uh, or there's no relationship anonymity here. Since the Tumblr can easily link Alice and Bob through the commonly used commitment of the wins. 
So to address this issue, we need to add a new new uh, cryptographic building blocks. The first is randomizable puzzle, which is composed of two elements. One is commitment of the witness, and and the other is the ciphertext which encrypt the witness. And besides, one can randomize these two elements while maintaining the message um, and change. Here, we require the encryption scheme to be linear only homomorphic encryption. The second um, uh, primitive we need is um, randomizable signatures on randomizable commitment. Um, it, the rough idea is follows. Now, suppose you have a signature on two, on two commitments. Next, you can, um, you can firstly randomize these two commitments and then generate a new signature on these two commitments without using the signing key. So this is how, how this signature works. So with these two new uh, primitives, let's see how to use, how to achieve the privacy in this construction. So again, the, the step is uh, this is the same as before. Next, um, Tumblr um, generate a pair of um, statement of witness. And besides the Tumblr will generate a side text of the witness. And, and the Tumblr will send them to Bob as well as performing the um, conditional payment to pay Bob. We call these two steps puzzle promise phrase. Next, Bob will randomize this, uh, this commitment and ciphertext received from the Tumblr. And Bob, and Bob will also randomize the signature. Otherwise, the Tumblr can also can still link Alice and Bob through these elements. Then Bob will share this randomized commitment and ciphertext with Alice and who will use, use them to perform a similar conditional payment to pay the tumble. We call these steps puzzles, puzzles of a phrase. Um, so here, so this is how we achieve the privacy in this construction. And finally, let's consider the uh, griffin resistance. Griffin resistance is to resist the griffin attack, which where a malicious receiver uh, start many many puzzle uh, promise uh, phrase puzzle promise protocol with the tumbler, in each of which the tumbler need to lock some coins. However, the sender will not help the tumbler to uh, release the coins, and as a result, the tumbler's coins are locked for a period of time. To address this issue, we require all the users to register at the beginning. The rough idea is as follows. First, uh, in the first step, Alice will send the commitment of, uh, of the amount and the proof to the tumbler. Besides, Alice will generate a randomness as a token and send the commitment of the token to the tumbler. Next, Tumblr will generate a randomizable signature on these two commitments so as to link them together. Next, Alice will randomize these two commitments and the, as well as the signature and send them to Bob. And finally, Bob send them to the Tumblr. In this way, Bob um, Bob proves to the to the Tumblr that there's in this someone. Um, who have already locked some coins for the Tumblr without revealing who she is. So uh, uh, after achieving all, all the above properties, now we have the we have we have already constructed a secure and privacy preserving payment channel hub. We also implement our protocol. Uh, in, in our, right. our experiment shows. Uh, yes, uh, we oh, are sorry. over time, but feel free to take uh, some seconds to wrap up, please. Oh, okay. Our uh, experiment showed that it takes um, roughly 17 seconds to print a, finish a, a private payment using our protocol. And with some uh, state of art similar proofs, we can further optimize the, the running time. So that's all. Thank you.